Atoms are impossible to see, so it's really good to draw models of them. So in this video, we are going to learn how to draw a model of an atom, actually any atom. Remember that the periodic table is organized into groups and periods, and that the periods actually tell you how many energy levels an atom has. And so atoms in period one, let's say for example hydrogen, are only going to have one energy level. So if I'm drawing a model, of this, I'm going to draw just one circle around that hydrogen. Now if I'm going to draw an atomic model of, say, sodium, on the other hand, sodium is in period number three. And so I start by drawing the symbol, and then since it's in period three, the horizontal row of three, all of these elements have three circles, but anyway, I'm going to draw three circles. One, two, three. And so that's the first step of any energy level diagram, is figure out how many levels are in this atom and then go ahead and draw them. The second thing you just need to sort of make note of is how many electrons you can put in each atom, or in each level, sorry. How many electrons can you put in each level? Because each level has a maximum number that it can hold. And so level one has a maximum of two. You cannot go beyond two. Second energy level has a maximum of eight. You cannot go beyond eight. If you plot in more than eight, you're wrong just doesn't happen in real life. doesn't happen in nature. And then the third energy level has a maximum of 18 electrons. So these are your numbers you have to remember. Number two, eight, and 18. And yes, we go beyond that for, you know, energy, level, energy levels four, five, and four, five, six, and seven, but uh, we're not going to draw those. I'm just going to have you draw elements from the first three periods. So let's practice this thing. Let's do some hydrogen, okay? So we draw our symbol first. Remember, hydrogen is in period number one. So it has one circle. And we're going to look at the atomic number. We're going to assume that every element that we're working with is neutral, meaning that the number of protons is equal to the number of electrons. So we're just going to look at the atomic number. And that's going to tell us, first of all, the number of protons. That's what makes it hydrogen. But it's also going to tell us the number of electrons, which is one. Okay. So it has one proton and one electron. And so all we got to do is plot one electron. That's going to go in one energy level number one. You just draw a dot for an electron, and boom, the energy level diagram for hydrogen is done. Now neon's a little bit different because it has more electrons to deal with. Hydrogen was easy. It just had one. Neon has 10. At least this atom of uh, neon does. So we've got 10 protons. We've got 10 electrons. And we got to figure out how to plot these things. So neon, we're going to write the symbol first. We're going to look at the periodic table. And we're going to figure out what period it's in. It's actually in period number two, which means it has two circles in it. The first level, remember, can take a maximum of two. And we have ten to work with, so we've got plenty there. We're just going to draw circles or draw little dots for the electrons. And that fills up level number one. Now, once level one is full, move to level two and then start plotting your dots some more. Okay, now usually electrons are drawn in pairs, that's how they kind of act, and so, yeah, so that would be your final drawing, you would end up drawing all ten of those electrons, you start two in the first level, and then the other eight will fit in the second level, because in the second level we can have a maximum of eight, and that makes sense, neon is a noble gas, its outer level is completely full, which makes it very, very stable. If it didn't have enough electrons, like let's say it had 7 instead of 8, then it would actually be very unstable because it doesn't quite have enough. Now sulfur, we're moving into period number 3 now. Lots more electrons to work with. We've got 16 electrons to work with here. We've got 16 protons, 16 electrons. And so how do I put out 16? Well, first of all, sulfur, you draw the symbol. And then you're going to draw circles. Now it's in period 3 which means we need three circles. We're going to draw our two electrons in here first. We know we have 16 electrons to work with, so we're going to go ahead and just fill up that second circle with eight uh, because we know that we're going to have more than that. Okay, so that, that used up 10, and so we just have six left. So we've got to put six more in this outer level here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And so it's, it's really a pretty easy process. You just start in the middle. You, you find out how many electrons you have total. You start in the middle, and you just keep adding until that level is full. And then when that level is full, you move to the next level, and to the next level, 
and so on and so forth. So that's what the one for sulfur would look like. If I was really doing this for you guys, well, I would probably take more time to make my dots a little bit more neatly, but, you know, we're just kind of rolling with this video here. And now it's your turn. Go ahead and give boron a shot. Just uh, pause the video, feel free to look up a periodic table from somewhere, and do the energy level diagram for boron. Okay, let's see what you got. So first of all, you got to draw the symbol for boron. It's in period two, so it's going to have two circles. And we have, remember, five electrons to work with. Five protons means five electrons. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. Just like that. Or you might have drawn those electrons in pairs. That's okay, too. Now, take a chance and do chlorine. Try chlorine by yourself. Feel free to look at a periodic table on your own. Go for it. Okay, let's see what you did. We've got chlorine here. Chlorine has 17 electrons to work with. It's also in period three, so we have one, two, and three circles. It's a pretty decent size atom there. And with 17 electrons, we're going to plot these around. We've got two there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have ten plotted. And we have seven more. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. That makes 17 all together. And you can see that this electron right here is uh, on his own. He needs one more to kind of finish that pair and to sort of finish out the atom completely. And that's why chlorine is super duper reactive. But I um, hope that was helpful, guys, in terms of modeling atoms. It's a, it's a fairly simple process, but you just got to follow steps. First, draw the symbol. Second, figure out how many levels you have to work with. Um, you know, just look at what period it's in, and one, one is going to be one circle, two is two circles, and so on and so forth. And then see how many electrons you have to plot. Once you know how many electrons you have to plot, then start at the middle level. The middle level can take a maximum of two. Go ahead and put two in. If you have more, move to the second level, fill that one up. And then if you have even more, move on to third level, so on and so forth. Take care.